back with another episode of On the Radar, man. And yo, straight off his first New York City show, Cody's the Saint. Did I say that right? I want to make sure uh, I got yeah, the yeah, proper. Because right. I feel right. like you know people spell their names certain ways, and then they might pronounce it differently. So I want to make sure I, I got it properly. Right, you got it right, you know I mean? but you know what I'm saying. I call myself Cozy with the curls too. So. Cozy with the and you know, I, I was gonna ask you about yeah, that too. You got two different names. It's like alter going egos, on. like you know what I'm saying. Cozy the same more like for the music, you know what I'm saying. The mature, you know. But like Cozy with the curls, he on the YouTube, he, he making like funny videos, you know what I'm saying. He more wild and everything. But all your stuff kind of lives on like that. Uh, the Cozy the curls YouTube. Like I saw you yeah. got you got your uh, your music on there. Um, you got vlogs that you do on there. You got your covers on there, which your covers are, are, are sick, by the way. Appreciate that. And I love how they're very raw and like you're just out here in, in yeah. like the New York streets kind of like doing, doing these videos, doing these nah, covers. Fact, I try to bring like, especially on like covers and like on mixtapes on, mm. I try to bring that New Orleans flavor to New York. Right. You know so that's the whole thing behind that. And you're from New Orleans. You made this big ass move to New York, right? Yeah. How, how old were you when you made that move? Uh, I was 20. Three. Oh, okay, so you yeah, were at like you were at like a. You I know. was that was this year. That was like, it. Oh, it I thought you've been here no, for no, a while. No, my it fault, my been fault, a, my it fault. haven't even been a year yet. Wow, but it's it's crazy. Like I'm still trying to learn how to catch the trains and shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, I swear, I promise you. Like, give it like a give it like a year. Give it like maybe another year, and you'll be knowing where all the train lines go. You'll be knowing right, how to get everywhere. You won't I'm know. Get, how, you may not all. know how to get to Jersey, or you may not know how to get to Long Island, but you but you'll be able to know how to get everywhere else. Still trying to learn how to fold a piece of the right way. Like, what do you mean? Fold like y'all, like y'all fold y'all piece of different. You, like, you fold it like you fold it like up like that. In New Orleans, we don't even fold a piece. We just get dominoes. You know what I'm saying? Just eat it. Right, y'all just be like, eating. Do- y'all yeah. just be eating dominoes. Just so eat dominoes. Got, yeah, y'all got different type of. Nah, pieces. you bugging because dominoes is strictly yo. It's snow. Like we every- snowed in. We snowed in, got and the pizza shop closed. Domino's like, open twenty four hours. That's that's the only time that you'll ever catch me eating Domino's. I mess with that. Or or if I'm smacked, you know. It's just, yeah, it, it, it's really anything. either or. It's- how was like the culture shock moving from like was it a big culture shock moving from nah, um new was, orleans it here big. it was like in the south like like less traffic like we were just talking about mm-hmm. um new york is just like everybody walking everybody outside everybody do something like you walk, <laughs> Yo, like nah, in the that's south people everybody don't do like here everybody like a club promoter yeah everybody, like, everybody a photographer everybody a videographer oh, everybody, like, everybody definitely a photographer out here yeah but i think that's the cool thing about being out here because you never know who you might run into not for you know you know how mad people just be running to Maury Povich on the train right you know it's like a thing right like mad Mo- is that Maury yeah you just be running to celebrities on the train for no reason you like I'm wow back. these people got like millions of dollars and here they are out here taking the, the subway train. with us I feel like that's what made me start catching the train though like at first I was like I'm used to driving you know what I'm I need a whip out you I ain't about to get on the train no I'm the same way I got a jeep and I'm like I don't care how much you pay me I will never give that car up I'm you I'm used to driving too because I'm from like I'm from the suburbs originally so I'm like. I need to be driving every. Even if I, even like you know, when I lived in Queens, I was like, "Yo, doesn't matter." So how you find parking spots? Are you? It's not easy. There, there were nights where I had to drive or like, what alternate? Are you familiar with alternate side of the street parking? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So there'd be days or mornings or nights where um I would get home later. You know, I'd do an interview and I got home at like maybe 10 p.m. and you have to wow. move the, you have to park on the other side of the street. And there'd be days where I had to park like um, man, I have to park something. There was one time I parked like a mile away from my crib. Oh no. <laughs> nah, nah look, look, see, you nah, might as well, you might as well catch like, the train, too. especially uptown and uptown. If I, my girl lives in, in the Bronx, and when they have open inside the street parking, it's like, yo, nope, she got to park mile, nah. two miles, take the bus to the crib, Uber to the crib. It, it that's really how it would be up here sometimes. That's wild. Nah, I ain't, nah, I, yeah, I'm glad you told me that because I ain't know it get that bad. So, you're not going, you're not going to get a car anytime I'm, soon. I'm still going to get it, but I'm going to just have to finesse. No, nah, I know y'all tickets out here is crazy. Like, Oh, I've got mad tickets. tickets. I got mad tickets. Don't let them oh, shits nah. pile up, cause that, because one day you'll wake up, go outside the crib, you'll be happy as hell, and there'll be a boot on your car. Nah, nah. I see mad boots around my old hip neighborhood now, and I was like, it, it, it's raps. Nah, that's dead. I can't. Nah. But enough about that. We're gonna talk music, and we're that's gonna talk dancing. So you, you're, you're multi talented. You're, you do music, you mm-hmm. dance, you act, mm-hmm. you do vlogs, you covers. How, how did what, what came first? Uh, dancing came first. Dancing came first. Okay. So I started dancing just like I just always been dancing like family reunions. Like I've been a little kid that was just always dancing. You know what I'm saying? And that was that was like your little party trick as a kid. Yeah, like, <laughs> I just always was dancing, but I just got tired of dancing to other people's music. So I'm like, what if I dance to my music? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I feel like that's what the that. game like really meant. Like everybody's so like I don't put nobody else down, but everybody's so cool. Like everybody's too cool for yeah, it to do like, their own they thing. They scared to like really have you know what I'm saying to have fun, some, some fun. So. All that's some Chris Brown I'm, shit. Like yeah, you, know, yeah. you, you make the music and then you dance to it too. Exactly. That's what I'm all about right now. So 
I'm just all about fun and good. So the music came from your love of dance and wanted to kind of like have your own, make your yeah. own and your own thing to dance to. Right. What was it like being on that uh, that VH1 show? Because I know that's kind of how you got your first break originally. Mm-hmm. And I know like those shows, you know, people have good experiences with them. People have bad experiences with them. I'm right. curious to hear, um, you know, did you, was it a positive experience for you or was it, you know? Overall, it was a po- At first when it started, it was negative, like. Cause oh, wow. let me let me break it down to you. I'm like the first. You like the first person I'm really telling. This really? Story, you know? No, and I love so, hearing these reality show stories because I got I got friends who've been on like American Idol and like it's it's interesting to see like to hear about the shit that you don't see on TV. Right. So like, basically, I I went viral before the show on a song that um it was an emoji bounce song. Right. I remember. That. I remember so that. I basically got like booked to go on a show to perform that show, okay. but I didn't know I was gonna be performing in front like real record label. Yeah. MMG. Because Red- Ross was on that show. Yeah, Radio right? Killer um, and uh, Rock Nation. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I made that song, I was just being on some comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like comedy vibes. I, it wasn't my real music. So I'm like, they wanted me to do a song on like national TV on the show. So I'm like, cool. So at the last minute, I found out, oh, damn, it's Rock Nation. It's MMG. It's Radio Killer. So I'm like, this song, not the vibe for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I did it. You know what I'm saying? They wound up. Two of them winded up hating it, like, like oh, I almost really? got sent home the first day. Who hated it? You, um, um, Lenny S from Rock Nation. Okay. He hated it, and the Dream hated it. But so, Ross, Ross, but Ross saw something in it. You know what I'm saying? So you can fuck with that. Yeah. So when he saw something in it, like I, they asked me to do another song that okay. they didn't show, and that's when I showed them. Uh, I really do music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was, and then you, you, you want something? You want a single deal with MMG, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, was, how was that? That was, that was dope. You it know was cool. I, I got a lot of like, a lot of people don't know this. Like, I got unreleased songs with Ross. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for real. So okay. A lot of stuff in that situation, like, still up in the air because it's so much stuff like business wise. Politics. You gotta, yeah, yeah. You got to clear you gotta it really and worry about. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's the. How old are those Ross songs? It's probably like a year, like year, a year, or year or two, year yeah, or two. We got a couple. I mean, we got one. I got one on YouTube with his DJ. Um, Called Hit It With The D. Okay. So you could check that one out. It's it's like a real vibe, like in Miami. And shit. Cause you know, that's where. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's like where Ross from. So we went to Miami. We did it out there. You know what I'm saying? So, so overall, you, you got a good experience from it because, yeah. you know, you got the single, you got a song with Ross, mm-hmm. you got multiple songs with Ross. Right. So what are we go- what are we gonna do next? We're we gonna have like Ross on the project or your next big nah, project. That's definitely in the works, like. Cause I know you dropped two EPs this year, right? Mm-hmm. Three, three, four songs each, right? Yeah. Cause I, I remember from this morning there were like three or four songs. Mm-hmm. Fuck with them, super dope. Appreciate it. So wh- what are we doing after uh, now that you got like you know you kind of got your foot in? Uh, right, it's visual. Like, your foot's very planted it's in the all ground about now. The you know what you're doing right now, like. Cause I feel like, like people don't really like music is cool, but. You got to go to, like, in today's world, there's so many artists out here, so you got to stand right. out. And I feel like the way I'm going to stand out is through my visuals. Right. Showing the creativity, showing the funny side, showing the dancing side, mm-hmm. showing the serious side. So, I just, it's all about the visuals for me right now. So, as you're just trying to work on, like, some movies and stuff like that yeah. for that. What songs off of it? Um, Definitely Raking Money. That's okay. So I feel that's, like that was one of the bigger songs off of the project. That's one of my the, favorite the songs project. off the project. Troubles, definitely. Troubles, Troubles. Um, okay. Best Friend. I said, I'm like, yeah, it yeah, was. yeah, it's gonna be like that's, that's what I'm funny. telling you. It's about to be crazy, and like I got new music that I'm also just putting out with visuals too. Oh, dope! And that's just gonna come out with visuals. And you're gonna do more. Uh, I'm assuming more, uh, more covers and freestyles and, yeah, and things definitely. of that nature. Mm-hmm. So when can we expect like you know like a new project and and all that from you? Um, definitely early next year. Nice, yeah. nice. Definitely like, like first quarter ish. Yeah. Dope, dope. And I know you did in February. Nice. So. Oh, perfect. So perfect. So. Some some winter vibes on there, huh? Yeah. So and I also know you just did uh you just did your first headlining show in New York. Congratulations! Mm-hmm. That's Appreciate a big that's a big 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 deal. Mm-hmm. How'd it go? Nah, it was dope, like because it was in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the people who, you know what I'm saying, came and opened up. You know what I'm saying, Sean. They had a lot of other like talented artists. You know what I'm saying that did their thing. So I felt like everybody just came together and just made a little ass show. Dope, man. Dope, man. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy for all your success. Um, what else you got coming out that you want to promote? What? Well, you got the vis- so we got visuals. We got the album. My mom the so so like. No, nah, it's okay, bro. You had a, you had a, you I had your first New York you. show last night. I know you was late. I know you were sleeping Philly late tonight, today. You know what I'm saying, um, I don't know when it's coming. There's a lot. Of, when it's coming out? It's come out like like oh, December ish. Yeah, yeah. So I just come out. I'm be in Philly tonight. You know what I'm saying? I got a show with um Trey Young and Frank Frankie Hill. Okay, dope. You know what I'm saying? So you working? So, yeah, yeah, we working. So yeah, hopefully we get on some tours soon. I feel like I could see you doing some like New Orleans, like some New Orleans bop type shit. You know oh, what I'm definitely. saying? Definitely, yeah. That's my. That's what I come from. That's of like, course. That's what I'm saying. You and it's so lit in hip hop world. Like Drake. Um, Drake made like, it cool. In my feelings. Um, nice for what? Mm-hmm. Like those two songs that come. You know what I'm saying? 
he sampled from New Orleans, so this is real lit right now. I'm about to definitely take advantage of that. As, as you should. That's yeah, your, that's like, your, I've been I doing like it for a long in, time. I feel like I hear that in the clubs more than like a lot of right. other stuff nowadays. I've been doing it for a long time, but a lot of people didn't understand it. But of course, they're gonna understand it when like a mainstream. Of course, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's so, like when dance all first broke in. Exactly. Now where it's like um, where Afro beats is cool now, and Burner Boy kind of you know Burner Boy was a big part of that and which there was a big part of that right now it's like cool so. for people to do uh to do afro beats mm-hmm. and you know and then that's gonna be next and then you know one day it'll be a different type of music yeah, and then it's, it's always gonna, switching it's gonna be a, it's gonna it's you know it's like a cycle just like fashion everything kind of comes facts. back exactly so you got something coming up with uh with mass appeal correct no nah, facts yeah we got basically like a, um like the campaign is called hoodies for the homeless i love so that. it's like basically uh mass appeal got like artists together to you know what I'm saying? Just do something for the homeless, something mm-hmm. positive. So, um, on one song that's on the project is Jay Electronica, Dave East. Um, you know what I'm saying? They on one song. I'm on this other song. It's like a cipher beat. Okay. So I I just basically talked about like the struggle coming up from New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So you know is just you on the song, or there's somebody else? Um, it's other artists on the song. I can't even really say like who it is. Much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like um. So when I did that, they liked my verse so much that they decided to give me my own song on the project. Oh, dope. So I got my own song on the project, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be lit, you know. We're going to go to New Orleans. We're going to do a couple of shows. We're going to give out hoodies for the homeless and nice, stuff like that. Nice. Yeah, We're we doing big things, bro. Helping out a lot of people that need help. Because it's hard coming up. I you, 100%, 100%. Well, I want to thank you for coming here, for chopping it up with me today. No um, new New album, February. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Let the people know what what they can expect, where they you know what, what when saying? they get it, where they can stream the music. Stream the music on all platforms. I'm really like a YouTube dropper, no cap. I see that. I see YouTube, that. like I got the vlogs. Like YouTube, just like YouTube, like it just built like my own machine behind me. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. when I just drop it, all my it's just sent out all my subscribers. So I know, yeah. You YouTube love is it. perfect. Yeah, like YouTube's so great. be on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram at Cozy with the Curls. Everything Cozy with the Curls. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So follow me, you dig, and you're gonna find everything. All right, there you go. Cozy with the curls, cozy, cozy the saint. You dig on the radar. My guy.